all, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra. If you're new here, thanks for coming and stopping by. If you are new and this is only the first video that you're seeing, I really recommend that you want to go and watch part one. It doesn't say part one, unfortunately, but I did a spirit box already for Gabby Petito and this is a pickup of where we left off. In that spirit box session, we got a lot of messages that she well, I don't want to do any spoilers or anything like that, so I won't give it away. So I recommend that you turn this off now and you go back and watch part one and then you can come back and join us over here and watch part two. For everyone who is rejoining me, last spirit box with her was amazing. In fact, I thought it was so good that we would do a part two because there's a couple of things that were in that spirit box and I made sure to take some notes and everything that there's a couple of things that I think we really need to ask her about and get some clarification because it seems like she was trying to get a couple messages across but that she wasn't fully able to do that and I think that was probably my fault. I, I cut the video off short. Some of it she was just having a hard time coming through. But we're going to ask Ethan and E, which are my guides, we're going to ask them to help her come through again and let her talk, let her get her messages across. So the couple of things that I picked up on and even had you guys pick up on some stuff which is great thank you so much if you do pick up on stuff leave it in the comments below I do try and get to all the comments on the latest video but the things that I picked up on and some of you picked up on was that she was talking to Ethan and Ethan said he was helping her but she also said that she needed help so I want to know, was Ethan able to help her? Is there something that I can do to help her? You know, what, what does she need? Is she still needing help? How can we help? Because that's the number one thing here that I like to do when I'm talking to paranormal and spirits and everything out there is if they say they need help, well, what can we do? She already did say that she had crossed over. She said that she was in heaven, which is wonderful. I'm glad that she's crossed over. So I don't know what she would need help on. Maybe it is getting a message out because it sounded like she needed to get a message out. The other thing is when I asked her if she had any messages, she came through and she said very clearly, my mother. So what did she, what was the message for her mom? You know, she said my mother, but is there more that she wants to say? Does she have a message that she wants to relay to her mom? Okay, so we're gonna ask that as well. I wanna ask if she has any messages for her fans. You know, she was on social media. She was on Instagram, she was on YouTube. They were doing their van life thing. And not just fans, but out a message for everyone out there that she's touched, you know? I like to know that she's doing okay. And, and of course, since she said she crossed over and she's in heaven, I'm sure she is doing okay. But I always like to ask just to make sure that she's all right. The last thing, and I thought this was really crazy important, and you guys picked up on this too, but in the last video, she said, and I'm going to quote this, he left me, and then there was a gap, it's all because, and then it got left, and then it shit didn't pick up. So I want to know... Okay, he, we know that he left her out there at um, Grand Tetons National Park. And, of course, we know this because the police later found her body. You know, that her, her boyfriend, fiancé, Brian, left her. But she seemed to be wanting to say that it's all because for some reason. I hope, I hope that she doesn't think anything is her fault. Because when it comes to domestic violence and abuse, nothing is ever someone's fault that to the point that they need to be hurt or strangled, yelled at, anything like that. So I hope she's not still carrying that with her. Lots of times that I have found is when we cross over a lot of that negative feelings that we have and some of the earthly feelings that we have, those things seem to go away. So I don't think she's saying it's all because it's her fault or anything like that, but it's all because why? I can't think of a good reason why. So I want to know what does she want to say? What was she trying to tell us? So we're going to go ahead and do the spirit box again. Same spirit box exactly that I did last time. Uh, this is the PSB7 and I always have people ask me what kind of cord I use. Just regular little cord. Nothing fancy. And I just attach it to my old paranormal speaker I guess you could say. This one works great for me. It's just attached the whole thing 
that's it. Couple of notes that I always like to throw in in every video. I don't cut my spirit box sessions. They get crazy loud. Sometimes they get crazy annoying. I apologize for that, but I, other YouTubers I know will slice out what they want to say, but I also know that they slice in what they want you to hear too, which, um, no, I want to do this 100% real. I want you guys to hear everything that I hear, exactly how it is. I don't do any edits, so you can see that I am not adding anything or mixing and mashing anything. I want my spirit boxes uncut. Unless there's some family emergency or something, my spirit boxes are uncut. Uh, Ethan and E are my guides. You'll hear me talking to them because I'm going to be trying to reach out to them to get to bring her to us so that we can talk to her. Let's see. Oh, I do have a specialist. He was in the Navy for 10 years and he reviews my spirit boxes with me. What he did in the Navy was he was a linguist and he listened with headphones on to radio static to figure out what whoever he was spying on at the time was trying to say to make sure that it wasn't a threat to our national security in the United States. So he will be listening to this. I always have him especially when it's something this vital and this important because I feel helping Gabby is that important that guaranteed he will be listening to this. If you're wearing headphones, here's the time to be careful. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna hold this up for y'all so you can hear it better. Okay, Ethan and me, I need y'all. When you are there, can you yeah. come? Last 
questions with you ahead of time. I hope you could hear them while I was asking them. I hope this is a good spirit box. You guys will know at this point. I do not. But I will get on it real quick, start editing it, and get this out for you immediately so you can know and y'all can stop worrying and so can I. I'm sure she's doing fine. Ethan and E are amazing. They have crossed over. I don't even know how many people they have helped cross over. They help a lot of people get crossed over because uh, that's what we do is we help people here. So, hope you guys are doing good. I love you and I will be talking to you very shortly. Uh, Halloween videos are coming out soon, so make sure you're subscribed and got your notifications on so you don't miss any of them. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.